the show. Now, over the years, Singapore has produced a pool of talented people who have excelled on a global scale. Some examples are singer Stephanie Sun, uh, fashion designer Ashley Isham, violinist Tim Min Lee, and former national footballer Fan Yama. However, time and again, we've heard of personalities who said they seem to get a better reception abroad rather than at home. Tanya and Trump, for instance, indicated that, and also more recently, Fan Yama. So is it that locals don't value their local talent, or is it just that the market here is too small? So to talk with us about it this morning is artist Yi Shan and photographer Chao Chi Yong, who made names for themselves at the international level. Ishan has, of course, created artwork for Adidas, Nike, and the San Diego Comic Conference, while Chiyong has had its works featured in international publications in the U.S. and in Japan. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the show. Right. See, unfortunately, we've again had to refer to all your foreign experiences <laughs> to, to say, you know what I mean? Because uh, it's just a perception that if you haven't made it big with a big-name company, you haven't made it. I mean, how did you guys find it? Chiyong, let's start off with you. I mean, uh, how many years have you been there? Uh, photographer? I guess about uh, 20 years now. Yeah. Also. Yeah. So what are the you know notable things that you've done, you've achieved so far? I guess it's getting recognized in the various countries, uh, but locally as well. I'm not mm. saying that in, in the right. local context we do not recognize anybody. Mm. But was it hard locally to go around and say, hey, give me work, you know, and people say, but what's your experience? What are your credentials, you know? Yeah, starting out, I think that's the hardest part. I think every artist almost have to take that step of going through like an initiation right whereby um, questions will be asked who are you you know why should I host your work where's your and portfolio yeah where's your I mean even if you have a portfolio it's like I don't know you mm -hmm. right, right. Yeah, okay. so Isha, did you have that, that problem as well um, yeah well I mean um, when I when I first started off uh, it was more like doing it out of passion I really really wasn't thinking so much about you know um, trying to make a, a living it was really just seemed like a hobby to me at that time you know but I think the local reception uh, for my work has been uh, really warm, and right. you know, so f um, so there's been a strong support from the. Uh, but was that before or after you said I did work for Adidas and Nike? <laughs> um, no, 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 it was before I did work for Adidas for sure. Yeah. It's just that yeah. if, I, if I didn't know you guys at all and you came and said I want to design your I don't know whatever website I want to create this brochure for you and I'd be like hmm never heard about your work. Whereas we said I work for a big company like Apple for you know taking photographs for Vogue or something. Then you'd be like oh okay so it can't be that bad right? That's our perception. Right. Is that, is that wrongly placed? Do you think we value the uh, sort of uh, foreign publications and, and their, their names more than our own uh, local? I think it's an assurance that the clients are looking for, uh, ultimately. You know, when we look at something, since I do not know you, um, maybe I need some more assurance and like, you know, names like Adidas and stuff, surely bring up some assurance. So you guys, I'm sure, have met a lot of young, up-and-coming, emergent artists. Do you think that uh, Singapore has what it takes to nurture them right now? Do things need to change in any way? Um, yeah, I definitely think there's a huge pool of talent in Singapore. You know, when, when you go out to meet artists, you, you see one really talented guy after another. And, you know, um, especially when, when we're in the uh, uh, Mentors for Noise, right, um, right. In the, the apprenticeship program, um, there's so much talent out there, and um, it just really takes... Um, you just have to sort of open your eyes, you know, to, to see and to recognize that it is, they, they are there. Right? So is it more, more a, a matter of opportunity or of funding? Because you need both, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, uh, we definitely need the funding and we definitely need the support. And I think more importantly, uh, we need the public perception to change, you know, this this perception that you're talking about. Yeah. That they have to relocate or move abroad, you know, to get overseas education, you know, before they get recognized. So, so whose fault is it? I'm going to pay devil's out. There are two sides to the coin. Okay, yes, we should give them more recognition as a, as a fellow Singaporean, but at the same time, these guys, I'm sorry, you need to be more media savvy, some of them. They need to go out there, talk about their stuff, publicize it. They need to do the marketing. You cannot sit quietly and say, I'm a genius playing the guitar. How come nobody knows about me? Right. 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 I think it has to start with education as well. You know, I was, when I was in Japan, visiting a museum, and suddenly I hear a crowd of people coming in. And when I turned around, it was a group of uh, really young people visiting the museum. It was a school outing for the kindergartens. And that's how young they started and they were being educated uh, about, about art in general, right, from a very young age. I think maybe if we do that, that can help as well. So you think in, in Singapore, we need a, a sort of a more structured program for, in schools to educate the young, to start young so that they understand it better and not maybe focus so much on, on math and science, you know, the, the usual route. Right, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Okay, but what about promoting local arts? Do you think we need to be more structured about that in terms of putting it in the school curriculum, making it a part of our daily life?
scrutinized, so to speak. What is some of the advice you would have, if you were given a chance now to help promote the local scene, what are some of the things you would want to do? Give me each chance, each one, you want to go first. Um, well, um, I, I think, uh, first of all, um, maybe we need to organize like um, a big uh, local Singaporeans, uh, designers, artist show, you know, something that really creates a big buzz and, you know, it's, it's just only uh, local artists, you know, and uh, the local artists get permission to create works, you know, I think right now um, the process is still very selective, you know, and artists have to find um, different avenues, you know, sometimes you have to go to like a private patron, you know, to, to get funding, sometimes you have to get a grant, and that sort so of thing. So for all, she <laughs> yeah. Well, reaching out to the schools, um, like the uh, art elective programs that school has, no, but inviting local artists to go give talks, have yeah. exhibitions locally at their schools or whatsoever, that can help too. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I'm sure because if you put some of your photographs and you say, guess who took this? And they probably think, oh, some other guy. And then, they, and then you show up. Not that there's anything wrong, but it's just that very often the perception is that, you know, and then you're like, hey. So it's a nice and refreshing surprise. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for coming in. All right, we're talking to artist Di Xiong and photographer Chao Chi Yong about what it takes to get local talents recognized and valued here. They are both involved in the National Arts Council's program called Noise. That's a platform for young people to express themselves creatively through the arts. Well, Noise is happening from next Thursday, the 16th of February to the 4th of March. And for information, you can log on to the website that's there on your screen right now. So I'm going to take part in Mix and Noise as well. On the note, we're up for a quick break. More news is just ahead. Plus... Showcase a website that could prove quite helpful to the busy professional. So, 